So in this section, you have learned a lot about data structures in Python. One operator that comes handy when working with these data structures is the unpacking operator. Let me show you how that works. So let's say we have a list of numbers, one, two, three. If we print this list, we get a list on the terminal. But what if you want to print the individual numbers? In other words, what if we want to get an output like this? Let's run this program. So here we don't have square brackets and we don't have comma. We're printing out individual numbers, individual items in our list. To achieve this, we can use the unpacking operator. So all we have to do is prefix this variable with the unpacking operator. In JavaScript, we have an operator called spread operator, which is three dots. This is exactly the same. So here we unpack a container, take out its individual elements, and pass them as arbitrary arguments to the print function. Now, if we run this program, we get the exact same output. Another useful application of this is when creating lists. So let's say we want to have the list of numbers from zero to five. You know that this range function returns a range object, so we need to convert it to a list and then store the result in this variable. Now let's print this. We get zero to four, beautiful. In this case, instead of calling the list function, we can use the unpacking operator. So we call range of five. This returns an iterable, right? The good thing about this unpacking operator is that we can unpack any iterables. It doesn't have to be a list. So we unpack this iterable, which basically means we take individual values, then we put them in a list and finally store the result here. By the same token, we can unpack a string. So we unpack a string like hello. Now let's take a look at the result. So we have the numbers zero to four. Now, because we are unpacking this hello string, we're getting individual characters and put them in our list. So these are some cool tricks that we can do in Python that as far as I know, we don't have in other popular languages. Let's look at another example. Using this operator, we can combine multiple lists. So here we can have one list and another list. Now to combine these lists, we can unpack the first one and then the second one. We can also put something in the middle or unpack a string at the end, hello. So it's very powerful. Now we can also unpack dictionaries, but we need to use two asterisks. Let me show you. So I'm gonna define one dictionary. Let's add a key value pair here. So X, now let's define the second dictionary. I'm gonna repeat X here, but with a different value and also add Y. Now to combine these dictionaries, we can use the unpacking operator. So we create an empty dictionary. We unpack the first dictionary. This will take out all the key value pairs in our first dictionary. And then we'll unpack the second dictionary. We can additionally add another key value pair. Now let's print the result. Note that the value of X is 10. So if you have multiple items with the same key, the last value will be used. So to recap, we can use the unpacking operator to take out individual values in any iterable. 